buried in there somewhere as well. So many of you may have decided already that graduate school is, is your definite next step. A few of you may simply not be interested in graduate school for one reason or another, and perhaps more of you are weighing that as one of two options, the other being going uh, directly into industry after you finish your bachelor's degree. So one question you might ask is, what are the potential advantages of going on to graduate school? Uh, the most obvious and broadest one is the fact that if you are going to pursue a professional, technical, or scientific career, a graduate level degree is going to broaden considerably the scope of professional options that are available to you, career options that are available to you. In fact, and as a caveat, most of these comments are made from an electrical engineering perspective, and I'll try to identify any differences that I'm aware of regarding pure sciences for those of you who may be physics majors, for example. But certainly from an engineering standpoint, um, if you want to do any kind of serious technical design work for most types of engineered products, or if you want to even have entry-level employment in a research lab, you need a master's degree as a minimum level of education. If you want to go beyond that and actually end up in a position of leadership in a research laboratory, or in a company, say as a chief technology officer sometime down the road, and most certainly if you're considering the possibility of an academic career, a PhD is a necessity uh, for those options. So there are a number of very interesting and challenging technical and scientific career options that are only available or readily available to you if you hold an advanced degree in your discipline. Now one would expect, and in fact it's true, that there is a financial payoff from the extra education represented by the graduate degree as well. These numbers may not be exact and they're specific to electrical engineers, so this is going to differ a bit from discipline to discipline, but starting salaries for bachelor's graduates in EE now are somewhere in the low 60s typically, the mid 70s for those with a master's, de master's degree, and somewhere above 90 thousand per year typically for those graduating with a PhD and what that means is that over the course of a career if you stay in a technical track as opposed to say a management track you would expect to earn about 20 percent more with a master's degree over your career than with a bachelor's degree and perhaps 20 percent more with a master a PhD over a master's and that accounts for the amount of extra time that you have to spend in school for each of those other degrees. But what I hope will also be a compelling reason that you might consider graduate school is simply that you are in your current discipline because you find it interesting and challenging intellectually, and the greater depth of those intellectual challenges that are available to you in graduate school and from a career standpoint if you hold a graduate degree might be some motivation in and of themselves, and that in turn gives you, as I noted above, greater opportunity to serve as a technical leader in your field of interest. Okay, well suppose you have made the decision that graduate school is the right option for you in terms of your long-term objectives. Does that necessarily mean that you should consider graduate school as the next step right after completion of your bachelor's degree? Well, what are the trade-offs? Well, you might argue that you could do something like the gap year, and that term really normally is used for the time between high school and college, but you can think of a gap of a year or more after a bachelor's degree before going on to graduate school. What are the potential advantages for the, of, of that? Well, if you don't have a very good idea of what you might want to get out of a graduate program, one would hope that by working in a technical field for two or three years, you might get clearer vision of what you would like out of that graduate degree and then you could go back to graduate school more highly motivated and more focused on what you want out of the program. And of course I'm sure one or two of you are facing student loans and uh, the opportunity for professional income immediately after the bachelor's degree uh, might be attractive for that reason 
if for no other reason. But at the same time, there are some downsides to waiting if you want to go on to graduate school. Probably the most basic of those is the fact that the longer you stay out of school, the fuzzier a lot of your academic preparation becomes, and therefore the bigger ramp up you have to go through when you get back into school as a graduate student. And that can actually be very challenging for students who have been out for two or three years. Perhaps equally important is a non-technical reason, and that is just the fact that the longer you're out of school, the older you become, the broader the range of personal life responsibilities.